In a world bound by the laws of physics, a realm exists where predictions shape destinies, and reality is not just one, but many. From the corridors of the past, where Nostradamus penned his quatrains, to the trance-induced visions of Edgar Cayce, and the prophetic declarations of Gene Dixon, lies a theory that challenges our perception of reality. The many worlds interpretation, a quantum phenomenon suggesting not one, but infinite outcomes, parallel realities where every possibility exists. Let us take you on an epic journey where science meets the supernatural. Explore how the many worlds interpretation could unravel the mysteries behind psychic accuracies and their most bewildering misses. Prepare to question everything you believed about fate as we delve into stories of foresight intertwined with the cutting-edge science of quantum mechanics. Are you ready to see the future in a way you never imagined? Join us as we peer through the lens of many worlds where every prediction has its place in the tapestry of the cosmos. Subscribe and turn on notifications. The future awaits in all its myriad possibilities. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Throughout history, several psychics have made headlines with their predictions. Among the most renowned figures in the realm of prophecy is Nostradamus. Born in the 16th century, this French apothecary and reputed seer authored a collection of prophecies that have captivated the world for centuries. His work, comprised of cryptic verses known as quatrains, is said to have predicted several of history's most pivotal events. One of his most famous prophecies is believed to have foreseen the tragic death of King Henry II of France. The quatrain in question, translated to English, reads, The young lion will overcome the older one, on the field of combat in a single battle. He will pierce his eyes through a golden cage, two wounds made one, then he dies a cruel death. This verse is widely interpreted as predicting the fatal jousting accident that claimed the king's life, an event that shocked the royal courts of Europe, and left an indelible mark on French history. Nostradamus's predictions are not limited to the past, however. Another of his quatrains has been interpreted by some as a chilling premonition of the September 11th attacks in 2001. The quatrain reads, In the city of God, there will be a great thunder, two brothers torn apart by chaos. While the fortress endures, the great leader will succumb, the third big war will begin when the big city is burning. While Nostradamus's verses are notoriously ambiguous, Many have drawn parallels between this passage and the tragic events that unfolded in New York City. The Great Thunder is thought to represent the devastating impact of the airplanes, while two brothers torn apart by chaos could symbolize the Twin Towers. The mention of the big city burning eerily echoes the fires and destruction that followed the attacks. Then there's Edgar Cayce, often hailed as the Sleeping Prophet. Born in 1877 in Kentucky, Casey possessed the unique ability to enter into a trance-like state, during which he would deliver readings that spanned an astonishing array of topics. While his insights touched on everything from holistic health to ancient mysteries, it was his predictions concerning future world events that garnered him significant attention and a following that persists to this day. Casey's method was unconventional and deeply mystical. Lying down on a couch, closing his eyes and folding his hands over his stomach, he would slip into a state of altered consciousness. In this state, he could respond to questions posed by those present in the room or written in letters sent to him. These sessions, which he referred to as readings, were transcribed by his secretary and are meticulously preserved to this day. Among his most notable predictions was his foresight regarding the stock market crash of 1929, a pivotal event that precipitated the Great Depression. Years before the crash, Casey warned of severe economic hardship and turmoil, advising caution to those who sought his guidance on financial matters. His prediction came to pass with startling accuracy, solidifying his reputation as a seer. Furthermore, Casey's readings hinted at the outbreak of World War II and the challenges that would face humanity during that tumultuous period. He spoke of rising tensions in Europe and Asia, warning of the dire consequences of unchecked aggression and the need for spiritual awakening amidst the forthcoming chaos. Last but not least, we have Gene Dixon, a figure whose name became synonymous with psychic predictions in the 20th century, particularly within the political arena. Dixon rose to prominence not only through her syndicated newspaper astrology column, but also through her bold and public predictions about world events and figures. 
Her methods varied, including astrology, palmistry, and her own intuitive visions, which she claimed were divinely inspired. Jean Dixon is perhaps most famously credited with predicting the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. She asserted that in 1956, well before Kennedy's election, she had a vision of a Democratic president elected in 1960 who would be assassinated while in office. According to reports, she even directly warned Kennedy, urging him not to travel to Texas, the state where he would ultimately meet his tragic fate in 1963. This prediction catapulted Dixon to international fame, making her a sought-after consultant among the powerful and elite, including several U.S. presidents and first ladies who sought her counsel. These psychics have left an indelible mark on history and popular culture. Their predictions, whether accurate or misinterpreted, have sparked curiosity, skepticism, and even fear. Regardless of one's personal belief in psychic phenomena, the influence of these figures is undeniable. But not all predictions hit the mark. Let's take a look at some that missed the target. Even the most famous psychics have had their share of misses. Revisiting Nostradamus, we delve deeper into the enigmatic quatrains that have captivated the world for centuries. While his cryptic verses have been credited with foretelling many significant historical events, it's important to acknowledge that not every prediction attributed to him has manifested as interpreted. A notable example is his prophecy of a great king of terror descending from the skies in July 1999. This particular quatrain sparked widespread speculation and fear as the date approached. Yet the predicted cataclysm failed to materialize. This instance serves as a reminder of the complexities and ambiguities inherent in interpreting Nostradamus's writings, highlighting the challenges in distinguishing between accurate foresight and misunderstood allegory. Turning our focus back to the sleeping prophet, Edgar Cayce, we're reminded of his vast repertoire of over 14,000 documented readings. While many of his predictions have intrigued and even guided followers for decades, it's essential to recognize that not every forecast was spot on. Among the more speculative predictions was his anticipation of the lost city of Atlantis re-emerging in the late 1960s, a revelation that has yet to be confirmed by modern exploration. Similarly, Casey's vision of a great upheaval in the year 2000, which he believed would lead to significant geographical changes along the west coast of America, did not unfold as he foresaw. These instances highlight the intricate and often unpredictable nature of Casey's work, underscoring the complexities involved in interpreting and validating prophetic visions. Jean Dixon also had her fair share of misjudged predictions. While she correctly predicted the assassination of JFK, she also forecasted a world-ending cataclysm in 1982 and that a cure for cancer would be found in 1967. Neither of these predictions came true, adding to the skepticism around her abilities. These examples serve to remind us that even the most famous psychics are not infallible. Their predictions, while sometimes eerily accurate, can also be wildly off the mark. The discrepancies between their predictions and actual events have led to much debate and skepticism about the validity of psychic predictions. This brings us to an interesting theoretical proposition. Could there be a reason, rooted in the very fabric of reality, for these misses? Is it possible that these predictions did come true but in a different universe? Could the answer lie within the realm of quantum mechanics, in a theory known as the many worlds interpretation? The Many Worlds Interpretation MWI, rooted in the principles of quantum mechanics, transcends the realms of science fiction to offer intriguing insights into the mystifying domain of psychic predictions. Picture a universe where every conceivable outcome of any given event unfolds in parallel realities. With every choice we make, every chance roll of the dice, we diverge into an alternate universe where that specific outcome materializes. This is the essence of MWI, a concept likened to an infinitely branching tree with each leaf symbolizing a distinct possibility. Now let's apply this to psychic predictions. Suppose a psychic foresees a significant event. In our world, it happens just as predicted, validating the psychic's vision. But what about those predictions that miss the mark? In the context of MWI, an inaccurate prediction in our world could be a reality in another. Let's say a psychic predicted that a world leader would win a second term, but they lost in our world. According to the MWI, there's a parallel universe out there where that leader did win re-election. Is it possible that the psychic tuned into another reality where this scenario played out as predicted? In this way, MWI offers a theoretical explanation for the hit-and-miss nature of psychic predictions. 
It doesn't necessarily validate or invalidate psychic abilities, but it does provide a fascinating framework for understanding why some predictions might be spot on in our world, while others seem to falter. Of course, it's vital to remember that this is all theoretical. Quantum mechanics is a field that's still full of mysteries and unanswered questions. The MWI is just one interpretation of the data, and not all scientists agree with it. But isn't it intriguing to think about? In the next segment, we'll delve deeper into this idea. We'll take a couple of famous predictions, one that was spot on and one that was off the mark, and analyze them through the lens of the MWI. So stay tuned as we continue our exploration of the intersection between quantum physics and psychic predictions. Through the lens of the MWI, even inaccurate predictions might hold some truth. Let's take a look at a couple of possible case studies, one accurate prediction and one that missed the mark. First up is Edgar Cayce's prediction of the stock market crash of 1929. Though details were sparse, Cayce's prediction of a great economic distress is eerily accurate. In the context of the MWI, this prediction might have been accurate across multiple parallel universes. Perhaps in these worlds the same economic conditions existed leading to a similar crash. Or maybe, in some universes, the crash was even more severe, while in others, it was less so. The accuracy of Casey's prediction across multiple worlds would depend on how closely their conditions mirrored our own. On the other hand, let's look at Gene Dixon's failed prediction that World War III would begin in 1958. Obviously, this did not come to pass in our reality, but through the lens of the MWI, could this prediction have been accurate in a parallel universe? Could there exist a world where the geopolitical tension of the late 1950s escalated into a full-blown war? It's a chilling thought, but within the framework of the MWI, it's a distinct possibility. Dixon's prediction then might not have been a miss, but rather a glimpse into a different world's reality. It's a mind-bending concept, isn't it? The idea that every prediction, every possibility might exist somewhere in a vast multiverse. It adds a new layer of complexity to the intriguing world of psychic predictions. But it's important to remember that the MWI is just one theory among many in the realm of quantum mechanics. While it provides a unique perspective on the accuracy of psychic predictions, it is not universally accepted. And, like all theories, it's subject to scrutiny and skepticism. While the MWI provides a fascinating perspective, it is not without its skeptics. And that, my friends, is what makes the world of psychic predictions and quantum mechanics so endlessly captivating. What an incredible voyage we've embarked upon, traversing the enigmatic landscapes of psychic predictions intertwined with the complexities of quantum mechanics. Together, we've journeyed through the captivating annals of history's most illustrious psychics, scrutinizing their remarkable successes and notable shortcomings, and ventured into the thought-provoking realms of the many worlds interpretation, MWI. The idea that each foretelling might find realization within the boundless tapestry of a vast multiverse is truly astonishing. Imagine every conceivable eventuality unfolding in some corner of parallel universes. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that MWI represents but a single perspective within the broad and diverse spectrum of quantum mechanics. It's a theory not without its detractors, embroiled in ongoing debate and skepticism. Yet, perhaps it's this very nature of perpetual inquiry, the boundless scope for speculation and the relentless pursuit of knowledge that renders this field so endlessly captivating. We invite each of you to persist in this journey of discovery, to question unabatedly, and to dive deeper into the enthralling nexus of quantum mechanics and psychic phenomena. The horizon of understanding stretches far beyond our current vista, brimming with theories yet to be explored, enigmas awaiting resolution, and secrets yearning to be uncovered. Thank you for accompanying us on this expedition, we hope it has sparked as much fascination in you as it has in us. If you've been captivated by our exploration, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell for updates on our forthcoming adventures. Until our paths cross again, keep questioning, keep seeking, and above all, remain insatiably curious.